The response to the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse four weeks ago was swift and impressive. Emergency crews snapped into action as they rescued the injured and tried to prevent more destruction. And today, those first responders were honored for their work. Bryant Reed was there and shares stories of bravery and heroism. It's an experience that won't soon be forgotten. Everybody has their own memory of how the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse played out. And today, officers who were first on the scene shared theirs and were recognized for their efforts. Four weeks have passed since the terrifying moments of the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse. The time has given everybody to take a step back, review what went wrong, but also appreciate what went right. The response of Port Authority officers to the scene was unlike any other. And today, Nick Massey and his co-workers were honored for their efforts and recalled every moment. It's nice to be recognized. It's just uh, really nice to realize that we did the job that we had to do that day, realizing we preserved all life and no one was seriously injured in the accident. Massey wasn't just one of the first to arrive on scene. He was also one of the officers to realize there was also a gas leak, then climbed into the wreckage to help save everybody involved. I'm seeing the whole bridge collapse like that, seeing all the vehicles going down there on the hillside, then looking up and realizing where you are and returns to the front of the whole bridge. Seeing that when you're getting people out, looking at yourself, seeing how dirty you are in the uniform, but just realizing what is truly going on, how dangerous it was, and how you wanted to get people out of there as quickly but efficiently as possible. And behind the scenes coordinating efforts was Port Authority dispatcher Greg Sherman, who says he couldn't believe what he first heard. You know, you're, you're thinking, did I really just hear what he said? And um, then once, once it clicked that yes, and then it took a few minutes to establish that there was actually still a bus on the bridge. It was a day nobody involved thought they'd ever have to deal with, but all were trained for it and responded as best as they could. The thought process going through my mind was just to make sure that my guys are safe, getting the people out of the, that are down in the vehicles, making sure that they come out of the vehicles. It's always fulfilling to get people there and help people. And that's, that's why I started this a long time ago. On the ground and on the comms, all heroes in their own right. I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.